My name is Tuomo Tuitka, I work for VTT. I'm also uh, working as the data uh, space uh, solutions lead at VTT, which is a, a kind of a new, new kind of uh, um, uh, job description in, in, the, in, the, in the Europe. And, and I, I believe that we will be seeing this kind of new job descriptions in the future uh, as well when, when this, this uh, data economy is forming. Uh, Yes, I also work as, as a work package for lead, that, that is the identification and synergies uh, work package, so what's, which um, uh, uh, Boris so, showed already in the beginning. Please, could you switch the slide? Thank you. All right, so, uh, so here is, of course, uh, Boris uh, explained already uh, about the data spaces support center as a project and and I would like to say still that uh, this is this is something that uh, you know I have never been in in a, in a situation in a research project like this because there is clearly a lot of a lot of need and a lot of lot of urge to create something new in the, in the in the data economy in the Europe and and sort of I, I would say that this is a pivotal moment uh, for for Europe uh, to 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 create something new, and and uh, really excited to be part of this uh, this evolution, and and uh, therefore we also want to be agile as as a uh, research uh, as a project uh, uh, to support uh, the community and and, uh, and and scale scale with the with the data space topic. Please could could you switch the slide, please? All right, so uh, this. Data space support center activity, uh, the work package identification and, and synergies is the is the, is the one of the first uh, work packages that has been starting. Not all of them has have started yet, but uh, but this has been starting. And obviously, we need, because we need to know more about uh, what what is going on in the in the European arena of of, of data spaces and and. Um, I think that it is very interesting to everybody to understand that what what are the common requirements for data infrastructure ac across sectoral data spaces, what kind of common building blocks are essential for the creation of of these sectoral data spaces, what are the common standards, and um, both domain specific specific and cross cutting, what what kind of toolboxes we would we would need, uh, and. Uh, what are the architectures and technical data governance frameworks? What are the potential synergies between data spaces? And, and what kind of uh, data governance models, business models, strategies there are for running data spaces? And of course, we are experiencing this, this uh, regulation tsunami at the moment. So, so there's at least, well, the, the five big uh, uh, regulations that are, are, are now um, either there or or under work so so this is something to identify which may really frames frames the work on the data spaces and and finally there's also we want to identify what are the guiding design principles for the creation of data spaces when we learn from the evolution of of, the, of this effort and and therefore we are reaching out to, to the stakeholders and and community of practice and everybody who is interested in data spaces altogether this could just switch the slide. Now the motivation for the star tickets and, and uh, well, the, first of all, what what is the star ticket in, all, uh, in, in, in essence? The, the uh, motivation here is um, that uh, when we're looking at uh, looking at the developments that uh, you know these data spaces and concepts that that, that are related to, to data spaces seem to have many interpretations and, and, and de definitions. So there's obviously, obviously cohesion needed in order, order that we, we understand that what we are talking about. We understand the, the, the matters that are there. So th th that's a one really good, good reason to look at the, the terminology and the concepts of data spaces. And in general, there's an urgent need for information on, on data spaces. So this is very obvious. Let's say data spaces are soon starting to scale. That's what we believe, both in sectors and, and, and growing a number of users. So, so there's also this interoperability. We have to have this common ground uh, um, before we scale uh, uh, too much of, of, of data spaces. Then references and examples are needed. Uh, 
they already exist many examples and, and uh, therefore we want to convey those those uh, references to to the wider audience um, and design approach is unnecessary uh, for for to, to make data space design systematical it's clearly it's something that we are not used to do in the information systems development in, in development in general but uh, data spaces are something different so we need to understand how to design them and as I mentioned, the regulation tsunami is framing our future data ecosystems. So now it's the pivotal moment for, for the EU, EU data economy in, in, in that sense. So, so there's many things which motivate our, our work. Please, can you switch the slide? Now, what, 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 is, the, what is the starter kit? So uh, as you remember, we, ha we have been start, starting the, the uh, work quite recently, but, but as a milestone, we do have a uh, uh, release that uh, or, or uh, publication that that mean uh, is is named Startekit, and the idea is that uh, it is a starting point for for of your data space journey that guides you to relevant community resources and and DSSC material as it becomes available. Now there is at the moment we have been working and really in agile manner with the, with the community of practice and and we have a like a have um, been working on, on a third uh, 30 days version just to respond the need and also to engage the community to discussion to, to reach out uh, reach out people and we are planning uh, a public community release uh, uh, pre preliminary draft uh, before christmas that would be 19 of of, of, of uh, this month and eventually there will be final release which are web pages uh, uh, with the content out, outlined in the, the described uh, preliminary, preliminary draft that would be march 2023 but we are all the time uh, discussing with the community and, and seeing that uh, all these many aspects are taken into consideration and while doing the discussion, I have noticed that also there are many other things that are popping up that, that we maybe want to categorize and classify into some something, some other work that we have in the, in the DSSC. So please, next slide. So, so, so what it actually is not, it's, it's, a, it's not a moderated package in a sense. Uh, we list available and known resources, but do not evaluate maturity of the solutions at, the, at this point of time. It's not a textbook, cookbook, or guidebook. Uh, doesn't provide a blueprint for, for developing data spaces. And if you click once now, uh, don't switch the slide, but click once, please. Yes, so these are other del deliverables. So we are working on this. We are going towards that that direction but uh, this this requires more ex experience and planning that what what are these these uh, guidelines and what is the best way to do data spaces what what kind of uh, blueprints there are so next slide please the content uh, maybe i have some time to go to to the content also so it's a it will be a short introduction to data spaces in in a, like framework of uh, Bloft. Uh, it's a business legal and governance functionality and technology and use cases. Initial release of glossary, as I mentioned, the glossary is important, and the resources and references list. So so many of the items which have been in the in the uh, in the in the presentation today will be there in, in the resources and references, and uh, it's very important to to have. Uh, have a very good uh, <clears throat> uh, pre presentation of, of those uh, important that we already have. We already have many platforms and and uh, and and uh, data spaces efforts that we want to be uh, to have listed them. I, I had uh, inserted this uh, open DEI uh, this uh, image there also uh, as as a re reminder that that. Uh, we bring in the, the also those background uh, knowledge from many projects uh, that this is something we are doing. So the, the Open DEI or ICT 13, um, DT ICT 5 or et, et cetera, we, we don't forget that uh, there's a lot of work which have been done and, and we want to bring that in into the DSCC effort. Please could you switch the slide? 
And here is uh, outline uh, of the starter kit content as, as it is at the moment uh, in, in the in the outline uh, structure that that was was uh, mentioned before. And it, if you look at the, the contents there, there's something about design approach, how to do the, how to do the design, what what kind of matters there are uh, with with the, with the data space design. Then legal and governance data contracts, for example, are something that is, is we are all, all the time wondering that how they are working. And and, uh, and then then functionally the technology uh, data interoperability um, sovereignty and trust are, are uh, point, uh, addressed there. So so many many uh, uh, such uh, many many those of those concepts that uh, that we we are uh, all the time trying to understand that what what how to how to design the data spaces how to use the concepts how to how to uh, use the building blocks building blocks etc. Eventually, oh, there will be also a list of, of uh, pioneering use cases, and and uh, uh, which which are uh, uh, like a repository of of and and the link repository to to the use cases that exists already, and, and so that it's it's helping us to to start start new developments. So uh, maybe the next one, please. Uh, yeah, so, so informa about information gathering, uh, I don't maybe go to, into two details, but uh, just show that uh, that we have uh, the information gathering ongoing at the moment. It's, it's, uh, there's very hectic work, I must say, that uh, with the colleagues who are, who are in, into the, uh, doing the workshops and go analyzing the data and, and, and uh, doing the surveys and, and doing the interviews. So, 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 we plan to resolve these um, all these matters by by January, and uh, and in the in the meanwhile we we plan to have a pre preliminary draft, as I said already before Christmas, available for for study and uh, or scrutiny, and and uh, and the, the starter kit final version will be end of March March in in a, in a, in web. Please could you switch the slide? All right. Now, in the big picture, this this uh, work is is the beginning of continuous scanning of on resources available for data space developers. I, I believe that this is very much evolutionary effort. So, so we are learning and and cooperating all the time and figuring out uh, that uh, what what are the uh, those those uh, let's say technical resources that that are uh, mature enough and can be used for for data space development. And uh, while doing that, we also uh, update the web page. Uh, and uh, already we, we um, address some of the tools that uh, they exist. So, so please take a look when, when the release is, is public. So, so what, what are the uh, existing uh, resources? And uh, eventually we will have design guidelines and best practices, but it's a separate track uh, for, uh, for the next, next year's effort. So uh, starter kit has its place and, and we are going to work with you uh, all in order to, to uh, make the interoperable data spaces happen and, and uh, looking forward to, to do this, this cooperation. Thank you very much.